let's see here. I got a, I got this at one of my makeovers. They actually filled in my lid with this seafoam green liner and then put the amethyst in the crease. It was really pretty. It's a really, it's a pretty vibrant green. I bought a tripod, but of course I bought the wrong one. So I promise I'm working on getting some better video, but I didn't want to wait because I don't want you guys to forget about me. I'm kind of on a roll. I'm scared if I quit doing it, then I'll lose my nerve. <laughs> so, I picked up this today. I think this is the one um, that uh, Lorraine was bragging on. This brush. This is just a good little blending brush. I really like it. It's a good size. Let's see. It's number 12 contour shadow brush. I don't know if this is the one she was talking about or not. I think um, she might have been talking about number the other one. But I like this one anyway. So I keep it. And like I said, I've had um, I have some Chanel brushes that I got in a kit. I think I bought the whole set when I was 24 or 25, and I still have every one of them except for the blush brush. It broke off pretty bad, but I did not take care of them. I guess I'm not going to put the top back on that. Let's see what else I got here. Okay. Try to hurry. Maybe this is boring. And they come in these pretty little cases that I wish I had something to do with them, but I don't. I, I feel guilty throwing them away. But oh, this is a real pretty color. This is their lavender. You really can't see it very good here, but it is the prettiest lavender, lavender color. It's got some sparkles in it. And one thing about Chanel shadows is compared to MAC shadows, they're they're not as pigmented. But in a way, that's kind of a good thing because, I don't know, MAC shadows, I love them, but you have to be pretty precise where you put them, kind of like, you know, color by number, and then kind of just blend the edges. I don't know if y'all have ever ended up with like a mess on your eyes because you blended too much. That really won't happen with Chanel shadows because theirs aren't as intense, but in a way that's good because you can blend them easier and it's just a softer look. <laughs> Sorry, that's my little boy yelling. Like he said, there was an asteroid. <laughs> and then this is Chanel Gold, which is known to be a really pretty gold. I haven't used this one yet. Um, I just got it like last week. So, and it's supposed to be a really good gold. And this is something different. It's um, it's a little, it's a shadow. And it's called, let's see here, I'm not sure what the name of it is. I think it's called Demi, something starts with a D. But anyway, you shake it, and they just come in a few colors, and then you put it on like liquid, and it dries to a powder. And um, it's a really pretty base, if you can see that, how shimmery it is perfect for um, like the inner corner or a lot of times I just do my whole lid and it's so pretty it doesn't crease it just, it's just really neat feels good on too and then I'll just maybe do something in the, the crease or you know just not do anything at all and just put some liner on um, but yeah I think that's it they gave me a nice little sample of Chanel number no. 5 O Premier which is a new one a new Chanel 5 and um, I guess that's it. So, sorry if I rushed through it. I was trying to get it all in there. And um, I'd have to say my favorite things from the Chanel line, that foundation I adore. I have several different eyeshadows. I have several different um, blushes that I love. Um, I, I like their eyeliners. I like their brushes. Not real crazy about Chanel lipsticks or lip glosses yet. I keep on trying, but um, they're just, you know, they're just as good as MAC, but they're $30. They're not as good as the uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Um, I love those. So, and I, and I do have a YSL um, haul also. Um, thanks to Lorraine at the Current Custom, I uh, got into that a little bit. And um, it's like Chanel, it's just nice, it's beautiful packaging. And um, it's just those 
Rouge Volupte Day or whatever lipsticks are just awesome. I just ordered another one, matter of fact. So, thanks you guys for watching. And I guess I should ask for you to subscribe. I always hate doing that, but it does make me happy. And um, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you soon. Thanks.